I'm Robin Cox and I'm a Biodiversity Planner for Hornsby Council. We're here today at the site of the soil trial that was completed to determine what we needed to do to the existing site soils that we have here at the quarry. So the brief of the project was to use the existing site soils to grow the plants that are naturally occurring in the surrounds of the quarry. That's the blue gum high forest or blue gum diatreme forest and the black buck gully forest. The restoration process is about re-establishing the native plant communities that would have originally existed here. And to do that, we needed a growing medium for the plants to grow in. We had two lots of growing medium that we could use. We had the North Connect soils and we had the existing site soils formed from the Brescia stone that was part of the formation of the diatreme. So when we went out onto the site and we started excavating the areas that were going to be restored, we found, we tested the soils and we were able to determine what additives were needed based on the results of this soil trial. We have come up with a, a, what we believe is the most sustainable, um, economic and efficient system to create the massive amounts of soil that was needed for the revegetation of all the surrounds of the quarry. Using site soils enabled us to be sustainable, economic and ecologically sensitive. That means that we were using the existing soil, preventing many, the, the movement of many trucks. And by doing that, the visitors to this quarry will be able to enjoy and experience the natural ecology, which will be for generations and generations to come.